Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at AWS DNS service, Amazon Route 53. Amazon Route 53 is a highly available and scalable DNS service. DNS stands for Domain Name System. Route 53 provides an extremely reliable and cost-effective way to route end users to internet applications. When you create a new website, you need a domain name to help your user easily access your website, such as Amazon.com and Cloudomy.tv. You can use Route 53 to register domain names for your websites or applications. Route 53 helps connect the web browser of end users to your websites. It routes internet traffic to resources for your domain names. These resources can be both AWS or non-AWS resources. Route 53 can route traffic to any resources as long as they have domain names. Route 53 seamlessly integrates with AWS services. For example, Route 53 can route traffic to your static websites hosted on S3, CloudFront distribution, API gateway endpoints, EC2 instances, Elastic Load Balancing, Elastic Beanstalk Environment, DB Connection for RDS Database, Mail Server Using WorkMail, and VPC Interface Endpoints. Route 53 can check the health of the resource, and route traffic to the alternative when the original resource becomes unavailable. You can also set up health check notification with CloudWatch Alarm. Route 53 supports both IPv4 and IPv6. DNS is a global network of domain servers that help IP-enabled devices, such as computers and smartphones, easily communicate with web resources. DNS is a web directory that stores the mapping information of domain names and IP addresses. DNS routes internet traffic by translating human-friendly domains into machine-friendly IP addresses. For instance, you can map cloudomy.tv to an IPv4 address such as 10.0.0.1. DNS helps users easily access web resources using simple domains. Imagine if the internet doesn't use domain names, when you visit Amazon, Google, and Cloudomy. You need to memorize all the IP addresses. Domain names are much easier to remember and more convenient to use. To use Route 53 and route traffic to your resources, you need to create a hosted zone and DNS records. A hosted zone is a container of DNS records. Records contain information and routing policies about how you want to route traffic for a specific domain or subdomain, such as cloudomy.tv or class.cloudomy.tv. Public hosted zone contains public records that specify how to route traffic from the internet. Private hosted zone contains private records that specify how to route traffic inside an Amazon VPC. After you've created a hosted zone, you can start adding DNS records and specify routing policies for your resources. When you create a record, you need to choose a routing policy, which specifies how Route 53 should respond to queries and route traffic to your resources. With simple routing policy, you can route traffic for a single resource. For instance, a single resource can be a static website hosted in an S3 bucket. Failover routing policy gives you an active passive styled failover. For instance, you can use failover to redirect your traffic to an error page during your server downtime, and route traffic back to the web page after the recovery. Geolocation routing policy lets you choose the resources that serve your traffic based on the geographic location of your users. For instance, you might use geolocation routing to restrict certain contents to particular regions for compliance reasons. Geoproximity routing policy routes traffic to your resources based on the geographic location of your users and your resources, with options to route more or less traffic to a resource, by specifying a value known as bias. You must use Route 53 traffic flow to use geoproximity routing. Latency-based routing policy helps route traffic to one of AWS regions, that gives the lowest latency to your end users. Multi-value answer routing policy can randomly route traffic to one of eight healthy records. It can provide some load balancing functionality for AWS resources. Weighted routing policy routes traffic based on the weight assigned to each record. For instance, you can route 40% of traffic to web servers in the US and 60% of traffic to web servers in the APAC region. Weighted routing is also commonly used for canary releases and blue-green deployment. Route 53 can route traffic and provide DNS services to AWS resources. It's seamlessly integrated with many AWS services. You can easily configure routing using AWS console, API or SDK. For instance, Route 53 can route traffic to static websites hosted on Amazon S3. You can create an alias record that points to your S3 bucket. 
Route 53 works with Amazon CloudFront distribution. By default, CloudFront assigns a long host name for your distribution. You can create an alias record that points to your CloudFront distribution. Route 53 works with Amazon API Gateway. You can create an alias record that routes traffic to the regional API endpoint or edge-optimized API endpoint. Route 53 works with Amazon EC2. If you're hosting a website or application on an EC2 instance, you can route traffic to the public IP address of the EC2 instance. Route 53 supports all elastic load balancing types, include application load balancer, network load balancer, and classic load balancer. You can create an alias record that points to your load balancer. Route 53 is integrated with AWS Elastic Beanstalk. If you're using Elastic Beanstalk to deploy and manage applications on AWS, you can use Route 53 to route DNS traffic for your applications. You can create an alias record for your Elastic Beanstalk environment. Route 53 works with Amazon RDS DB instances. Route 53 helps easily map DB connection URL with a custom domain. You can create a C name record in Route 53 for your DB instances. Using custom domain makes it much easier to replace DB instances during any potential downtime. Route 53 works with Amazon WorkMail. If you're using WorkMail for your business email and Route 53 is a DNS service, you can use Route 53 to route traffic to your email domain using text record. Route 53 works with VPC interface endpoints. Interface endpoints let you use AWS private link to access services from inside a VPC. You can create an alias record and route traffic to the interface endpoint. In this episode, we've learned the AWS DNS service, Amazon Route 53. Route 53 is a highly available and scalable DNS service. You can use Route 53 to register domains, route internet traffic, and provide health checks for your resources. DNS routes internet traffic by translating human-friendly domains to machine-friendly IP addresses. You can create hosted zones in DNS records, set up routing policies to tell Route 53 how to route traffic to your resources. Route 53 is seamlessly integrated with many AWS resources, such as Amazon S3, API Gateway, CloudFront, EC2 and Elastic Load Balancing. Okay, that's all for Route 53. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!